All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. It is time for another review, 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 review. Okay, fine. Uh, and this one comes by way of my friend Justin at White Mountain Knives. You guys know I'm an affiliate over there, and you can get 10% off with code Knives Fast to check out. And, uh, you know, he lets me check out uh, some knives and just loan them in and uh, send them back to him. And this is one of those. This is uh, the Kubi, uh, made in China, of course. This is the Kubi Leaf, uh, KU333A in Aus 10 and G10. Nice little uh, budget knife. Say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powder Toast Man and Log and TV. And we'll get started talking about this one. Now, uh, right off the bat, guys, these are right at $54 on uh, White Mountain Knives website. So you've got uh, the black um, black G10 with uh, the, um, wow, I can't read, the blast, the bead blast finish. Uh, you've got the black, uh, black and gold carbon fiber uh, resin handle in Austin as well. For $54, you've got a red G10 with a black uh, wash blade. Uh, you've got a uh, green G10 with the bead blast. You've got black uh, green G10 with the black blade and red uh, with the bead blast as well. So really cool options. But obviously this is the uh, the black with the bead blast finish. So we're going to focus on that one. Now, right off the bat, you guys are saying, Casey, have you lost your mind? Um, guys, I'm trying to get more knives in that aren't always exactly what I like. But things that you guys might like. You know, I typically prefer a slot or a hole or a flipper, or a thumb stud. Uh, I don't prefer front flippers, but we're going to talk about this one. It's very interesting, and it's kind of grown on me a little bit. So you do have a dead-centered blade, really interesting with the swedging almost all the way. Yeah, I mean, look, it's all the way back to here. Um, you do have a kind of, the, the G10 is this flat textured uh, G10 with the screws flat, but sticking up just slightly, the pivot with the KB there for Kubi, uh, kind of sticking up just slightly as well. And then you have a deep carry loop over clip. Uh, only, I uh, know it's right and left, I'm sorry. And um, it comes, you got just a little bit left there. Uh, not bad at all. Um, and you have this kind of tailored in a uh, back, uh, not backspacer, uh, lanyard hole. Uh, that just goes sort of from C to shining C there. Your blade is above it, as you can see. And then you've just got barrel spacers uh, and these, uh, sa uh, pff, I, I keep wanting to say sandwich. The word I'm looking for is shadow box liners. Uh, and you've got some really good milling in there for weight reduction on both sides. And you see your internal stop pin there. Very cool little knife now. Uh, chamfered off really well. You do have scalloping on the lock bar. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's open it the way that I've been opening it, which is to just treat it almost like a regular flipper. Now, what that does is you instantly have this really cool thumb ramp. This is not a finger choil, but a sharpening choil, and you do have good edge uh, relief there. Um, there is your designer, and there is the Kubi logo. Now, you've got... This ridiculous swedging. Now, it does uh, say Aus 10 right up there. There you go. Uh, very, very cool. Good lockup on this one. I'd say it's like uh, 15 to 20. Tiny little bit. Yeah. Tiny bit of blade play. Not, not back and forth, but um, no. Now I'm not feeling it. That's weird. I think I was maybe putting pressure on the lock bar because I'm not. Okay. There's a tiny bit of lock rock. There is. So it is it is lock rock. Tiny bit. Just ever so tiny. You do have uh, your detent ball right there. Uh, really cool little design. Now look at this. It drops to my thumbnail and it's just easy back down. Now, uh, you know, it's not really a traditional front flipper. You can do that. Uh, it takes a little bit of risk for me. Uh, I prefer, you see, it just wants to drop there, to just do it like that. And it's really easy, just a uh, nice little flip. And it's really a, you know, a normal flipper, really, at that point. 
Really cool. I, I'm not a huge fan of bead blast finish, uh, but this does work, and it's it looks nice. It's just I want to just see the steel. I don't need that kind of grayed look. It reminds me of some older Kershaws that I didn't really care for, but maybe that's the problem. Uh, guys, this thing is an absolute joy to cut with. It is a laser beam. Uh, just unbelievable. Look at that. Um, unbelievably good cutter. Uh, it is, and I'm not putting a lot of pressure. It's just a laser. Um, love, whoops, and, and of course, right when I tell you that, I screw up. But you, you see, it, it can cut. It's a phenomenal, phenomenal cutter because it is so thin. And that flat grind comes up really high. And, I mean, it's just fantastic. Um, really surprising. Now, uh, ergonomically, it is a four-finger knife. Uh, you do feel that clip digging in right there, but it's not really a hot spot. Um, th the only drawback, I would say, is you can't really come up here because that swedging is so incredibly thin, it does not feel good. You really got to stay like this in a pinch uh, grip which is fine, and you do kind of tend to fall off the back a little bit like that, um, you know, but it's not bad. You just, you can't come up here. It doesn't, I mean, you can, but it does not feel good um, at all. So let's do a couple of comparisons and talk about um, uh, stats, specs, there's the word, and uh, go from there. Now, this one uh, goes up against the rat one. Now, the rat one is way bigger. But the Rat 2 is a very close match, as you can see there. Uh, I happen to have an, a couple more, a Kubi and a couple of Kubi uh, uh, made knives over here. So there is uh, the Kubi Royal uh, for you. And uh, just as an example, since a lot of you have one of these uh, in your collection these days, there is the Tempest Pinion. So Really cool. You can see it's smaller than both of these. Um, and yeah, I like I like giving you guys comparisons. Now, let's put it up on our nice little stand here, and let's talk about specs. So uh, $54, as I was telling you, and of course, at White Mountain Knives, you can always get that 10% off uh, using the code KNIVESFAST at checkout. Uh, so that is really cool. Now, this guy overall is uh, right under 7 inches, 6.97. Uh, it is a 2.99 inch blade length, a uh, 0.12 blade stock, so very similar to the pinion. Uh, comes down really thin, though. Um, uh, handle length is 3.98, so just under 4, and it's right at 3.054 ounces. Um, I'm not sure who... Tiguas is, but that's the designer. I'm not familiar with them, uh, with that Tiguas, uh, but Tiguas, I think. It's two S's, T-I-G-U-A-S-S, -S, Tiguas. Uh, I don't know. I don't know who that is, but they designed a very cool knife. Did not know if I would like it. Got it in mostly because I'm trying to get more small, smaller budget knives in because that's what a lot of people seem to want to look at. So uh, really interesting. And by the way, uh, just because I can, one more little comparison size-wise since we're talking about small knives. Uh, there is the Tempest Microburst, which will be coming soon. Uh, and it is the Microburst is still a little bit bigger than... Uh, the leaf. So what a cool, cool knife uh, from Kubi. Thank you, Justin, over there at White Mountain uh, for letting me check this one out. I appreciate you, brother, guys. Check White Mountain out. Check out the Kubi leaf. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Is this one you're interested in? Oh, and by the way, I didn't even mention, I love this shape. Uh, you end up with kind of a downward angle on that blade. And I think that makes it great uh, for piercing tasks, uh, you know, for for just basic EDC tasks even. I love that shape. It's very uh, kind of reminiscent in a very less, uh, in a more gradual way of the, the Vosti Nightshade. Obviously a lot less uh, angle to it, but same basic principle. There you go. So guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate all of you. And uh, again, thumbs up and uh, leave a comment. And uh, thank you for watching the Knives Fast channel.